What's the one thing that changed the most for you going into season four that differs from past seasons? It could be the way you approach something, the way something, a challenge you wanted to meet with your character, a challenge you wanted to meet with a script, anything that stands out to you. Oh, that's a hard question. I don't want to go first. Um, no. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like every, you know, everyone goes, oh, is this season harder or easier than the last season? I got to be honest, every season is <clears throat> harder than the last season. Um, we, we think, oh, that season was so tough, but uh, France, so hard, but this season is going to be so easy. Um, this season, I think, because of all of the challenges of trying to do North Carolina and Scotland was, was incredibly challenging. And there are also some key um, moments in this season that we know the fans are very excited about and we are very excited about and there's a lot of pressure to get those right and um, and certainly in the minister's cat things like that I mean little moments that that maybe aren't huge story points but are nice uh, moments to try to get in and I think there were a few moments this season um, there's spoilers but um, that we hoped we we met expectations and also kind of did it our way and I, I feel like we really pulled that off uh, I think for me, the ch it was there were it was more challenging on some story levels in terms of the translation of the book to the to the screen, trying to find the balance between the characters, trying to find the. I always talk about uh, the rhythm of the show, and I always think of music and sort of melody lines and bass lines that carry you through a piece, whether it's in a scene or episodically or over the course of the whole season, and finding the orchestration of this of how these disparate elements of Roger and Brianna, Claire and Jamie, uh, the people going into the Carolinas, Jocasta, when you were moving to certain instruments in the orchestra to really torture this metaphor, you know, was <laughs> that, it was a challenge, it was a challenge. It took a while to kind of hear what the rhythm of this particular season was. What was the melody line this year? What was the, the bass line that was driving you through the whole thing? And that took a while, and it took a while on the script, and it took a while editorially, because in editorially you can really emphasize and, and move around puzzle pieces and, and sort of figure out how it worked. And ultimately, I was very happy with how it turned out. I was like, oh, there it is. There's the piece of music. That works. But it was, it was a different challenge this year than it had been at previous ones. Well, I think it's quite tricky for me because um, it's a bit of a change of scenery for Roger. Um, he goes from Oxford to just outside of town. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere and there are various challenges with that, you know, logistically, like moving all your shit, you know, <laughs> getting to just outside of town can be trickier than you might think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where does he go? Where does he go? Yeah. It's like, you think it settles it. down with some, a lovely girl just outside in one of the, the home counties. It's beautiful. <laughs> they live a very happy life. No, but I think <coughs> it's that, that perception. It's going back to that kind of the fan perception and um, expectations, I suppose, of, of some of the characters going into season four and it being based, obviously, on Drums of Autumn and where those characters go and the evolution of those characters, particularly. And there are certain things that you want to stay true to, I suppose, in terms of how those characters evolve and the journey that those characters go on. Um, so for me, particularly, I know that uh, so Roger's stuff's all going to be based in libraries and researching and <laughs> all that kind of thing. But I suppose it's, it's, it's you know, keeping in mind that there are going to be, you know, it, things that people are looking for to expectations. Changes, I suppose. Changes to the character and how they evolve and how they move along on their journey and, and how they are different at the end of that, I suppose, for me, was something that you know, you know, I, I kept in mind particularly through shooting season four, and hopefully, hopefully, I stayed on track with that. But we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, a similar thing in that I can't really say too much of Bree's story from this season, but in terms of one of the biggest challenges, I think for me was just from a research point of view, um, Brianna. She goes through quite a lot this season, and I wanted to make sure that I did enough research to play what she goes through and sort of the aftermath of what she goes through in a way that does justice to people who have been through a similar thing. So I suppose that was one of the biggest challenges, just putting yourself in that in that headspace. That's yeah. <laughs> um, me, I was. <clears throat> this feels like uh, Jamie's a lot of experience now and. And certainly this season, you, I think you see, you know, elements of every season. You know, you see the the young warrior, but you see, you know, the the leader of men and the politician, and he's drawing on all that experience. And and actually, towards 
the middle of it, he becomes on the front foot. You know, it feels like last season he's always trying to catch up to things and and save his wife from something. But uh, or vice versa. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but no, it feels you know like he he does for a moment at least get into this place where he's drawing on his experience and and really becoming. Um, you know, the, the lair that he wanted to be, I think, in a way. Um, but it's Outlander. <laughs> so things go wrong quite quickly. Um, I think for me, I definitely feel like this is, or I got to explore a completely different side of Claire that I don't think that I've had the opportunity to explore before. Um, given that, they are setting up home that it's a quieter part of their lives. It, it's a much more nurturing side to her. And it's not, you know, we've, we've sort of done more career driven Claire. And, and I, again, I think Claire has been more on the front foot before. And this was an opportunity to explore this other side of her, which, you know, I think was really interesting. And it, it gave me a really new challenge. And that's kind of great after having already done three seasons to go into a new season and be like, oh, this is a side of her that actually I probably haven't considered enough before. Mm. And um, yeah, it was nice to be able to examine that. <laughs>